I want my board. Or at least the ZD Toys Backlash. An Iron Man 2 in Iron Man suitcase as part of the Infinity Saga. So let's talk about this collector's case from ZD Toys and a whole lot more on Tac Tac Toys with Film. So welcome back to Tac Tac Toys with Film, your home of six inch or 112 scale action figures. This, fil this video is not for kids, so yeah. ZD Toys are releasing um, Iron Man Mark V suitcase contain containing Iron Man Mark V and Whiplash, or Backlash as he's known for some reason here. Maybe it's uh, something to do with the rights. Um, so what do you think of this set from ZD Toys? It looks like quite a nice little collector's item. Are you interested in some more Iron Man 2 figures in 112 scale here? Or 110 scale, maybe more specifically, as part of the Infinity Saga. Will you be picking these up? And have you got any other ZD toys? Let me know in the comments below. I've always thought we should get a Mickey Rourke Whiplash Marvel Legends. But until then, it seems like ZD toys have us covered. And sticking with Marvel, SH Figure Arts will be giving us a 15th anniversary Iron Man Mark IV figure. I think it's Mark IV anyway, I'm never very good with Roman numerals. It will have interchangeable masked and unmasked or helmeted and unhelmeted heads with a fairly decent Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. likeness. Pre-orders should open in Japan in mid-July and it should be around the, I guess, $70 or £70 mark and it will no, be, no doubt be available on the usual kind of online independent UK retailers at some point. And SH Figure Arts 15th anniversary Iron Man comes with a box of donuts as an accessory to recreate that scene where he's eating donuts on the roof before he's, he's approached by Nick Fury. And moving from SH Figure Arts to Marvel Legends, we get better images of the What If Disney Way, Disney Way, Disney Plus Wave, sorry. And they've surfaced and they show Goliath as shown here. Lawrence Fishburne played Bill Foster's Goliath's alter ego in some of the Ant-Man movies. And the Builder figure seems to be a Winter Soldier style Hydra Stomper with an unmasked Steve Rogers head, like with a beard, unshaven with a beard. So yeah, here's a better look at them. They seem to have popped up, I think, in Turkey, somewhere like that. Um, we do seem to find sometimes Marvel Legends pop up like this in random countries, random places. But there's the look of Steve Rogers with the unmasked head sculpt and moving from marvel legends we go to super seven and a better in-depth look at the cat's layer with what looked like panthero's tools there possibly and a conference room where all the cats can sit this thing's going to be absolutely enormous so um thundercats fans rejoice or cry with empty wallets the decision is yours and sticking with super seven we got a look at the ultra a tease at the ultimate gi joe crimson guard here on a coffee break by looks things i'm particularly intrigued to see if this whole wave what it will be for a start, and yet what characters will be revealed. I've picked up myself the Super 7 Ultimates Wave 1 Bat. He's a cyborg, so he can kind of fit into my G.I. Joe and Action Force collection as a kind of Super Bat. And if you want to check out the video, my, my review of that uh, Super 7 Ultimates Bat, the link is in the comments below. And if you enjoy diving into Muff Toys, their top secret agent has been revealed and the likeness to Daniel Craig is phenomenal. These third party companies do get better and better and if you want to see a G.I. Joe classified version of 007 then you can look no further than one of my videos again and the link for that will be in the comments below. And also I'll put a link to where to order top agent um, on VC Toys Box and that will be in the comments below as well. I myself wouldn't mind a Sean Connery or Roger Moore 007 in 112 scale, but for great places to purchase and pre-order action figures, you can of course check out props and replicas. Why not check out comics and cocktails? You can also check out uh, Kapow Toys, and you can check out the whole shebang, and why not check out star action figures? And of course, you can also check out all the cool stuff and the logo for all the cool stuff's coming up now. There you go. And you can check out Gobsmack Comics. And why not check out In Demand Toys and links for all these online independent UK retailers. And of course, the excellent Valiverse, which stocks Action Force, will be in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Feel free to leave any comments down below and subscribe so you don't miss any of my content. And for all its film and TV reviews, check out Film and TV Review YouTube channel. Link for that will be in the comments below. And for all the latest Marvel Legends news reviews, 
and live streams with co-host Rich M. Check out Dan Who Reviews. And of course, you can check out Joes and Juice with Dan, myself, and Mini Plastic Multiverse Tom. All talking the latest G.I. Joe classified and Action Force news. And um, for all the latest action figure news and reviews in the UK, check out Joy Jay's Toy Collection UK. And congrats on 1,000 subscribers. Check out Miguel and the Wolfpack Toy Review stateside for action figure reviews in Ireland. Check out Brian's action figure reviews. For all things Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions and more, check out Trevor the 1-6 Shooter. Why not check out Dante in the Infinity Equation? And um, for all the latest pop cult, pop cover music, you can check out Elson Official Music. And for the latest film and action figure reviews, you can check out Cypher Sigma. And for toy photography tips and tricks, you can check out Toy Picks. And of course, for all the latest action figure news and pop culture discussion, you can check out the 3POA podcast. And you can check out Why So Serious Toys as well. And links for all these YouTube channels will be in the comments below. So, of course, until next time, thanks very much for all your support. You make watching, all, watching and recording. I do watch my own videos, but watching and recording all these videos possible. You make them all possible. And, of course, until next time, just make sure that you enjoy those flicks and figs. Yeah, so there we go. There's the video of flicks and figs all done and dusted. Did you have any particular sort of favorites that were on show in the video? Anything in particular you're really excited to pre-order? For me, I'm particularly excited about Jazzwares upcoming Call of Duty line, which we'll no doubt see at SDCC, which is upcoming at the time of this video. Only about a week or two away, probably only a week away. But yeah, that's probably what I'm most excited for. But what are you most excited for? Do let me know in the comments below. And like I say, yes, of course, until next time, do keep enjoying those flicks and figs. Plenty more content to come on the channel. Um, got a Manny Faces review coming up. So I'll be putting that up on the channel. But yeah, just, you know, thanks, of course, as always, for watching. Your support means everything. It makes these videos possible. And just, um, yeah, just, you know, keep keep watching my content if you don't mind. Like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps the channel. And um, I'm here for you. But you know, you're, you interact with me as much as you want. And until next time, enjoy the flicks and figs.